Hey guys, so we're back here working on the bug again. Uh, we can't do a ton more work uh, for the transmission and suspension in the rear here until we get parts. Um, but I, I do have the transmission right here. Everything's cleaned up and ready to go. Um, so I have a ton of parts coming to start doing that. For now, I'm going to work on stripping the interior. So getting rid of the seats and the harnesses and getting rid of this firewall right here, and then um, just getting rid of fire extinguishers, um, getting things out of here so that we can um, cut um, the luggage rack where it needs to be cut so that we can fit the new shift linkage for the bus transmission. Um, so I'm gonna be working on that right now. And while we're at it, we are gonna cut off the original seat mounts that I built. Um, they're just too high. As you can see, it's a little bit cramped for me in here. Headroom's not great. You can see my head's really close to the roll bar here. Not much room for my head. Um, so as you can see, it's uh, definitely too tight in here, um, especially if we're gonna start doing longer races. Um, you know, I did build this car uh, when I was 13. Uh, 13 and 14 is when I was putting this together. And um, I was only like 5'6", five, 5'7", five, 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 back then. So it's relatively easy for me to fit in this car back then. I'm about six foot now, so uh, I don't fit as well as I used to. So we are going to lower the seat mounts and hopefully we can move the seats back a little bit too. We'll see what we can do with that. We're limited by this cage structure, um, by the cross um, and the harness bars back here. Um, but we're still gonna see what we can do about it. So we're gonna pull the seats out and we're gonna take apart and cut the old seat mounts. Um, we're gonna get rid of all this. Um, this bar will stay, um, but everything that goes off of it is going so that we can build new seat mounts. I think I'm gonna just reuse these seats, but I am gonna get some padding and some covers for them. Um, so that'll be next. So first step is gonna be to remove these bolts. These are for the harnesses. Uh, you can see it's kind of a sandwich plate kind of system. Um, and then there's one of those underneath here too. I don't know if you can see that. So that's what we'll do first. And then once that's done, we'll remove the seats. seat out that would be the passenger seat and uh, this is kind of how I did those original mounts you can see I I did a tube that went up and over uh, the tunnel and then um, drilled holes and then these washers are there because these holes uh, I drilled way too big so I just did these washers and it all got all the water got trapped under the seat and it rusted and it's just a bad system and it worked kind of okay, but I need to redo it. It, it, it really just doesn't work. Um, so we'll get rid of all this stuff and, and all this will be gone. And so then we'll think of a better way to do it. Probably end up going straight from here to the tunnel. Um, and we'll figure out something so that it's not this bulky. Um, and so maybe you could actually store stuff under the seat. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that needs improving on this car. Um, but again, I did build it when I was 13 and 14. So, you know, it was, it was my first time really fabricating at all. So now I'm gonna take this other seat out and get things clear in here. And then we can take this firewall out. So for the first time in two years now, um, the back of the cage and 
the bottom of the floor pans and everything is visible um, from inside the car. Uh, so we can finally uh, work on the tunnel area so we can get it ready for the new transaxle. So next we're going to be cutting these seat mounts completely out. Uh, big, bulky, and heavy, and it's got to go. So we're going to get rid of that. All right, there we go. It is loose and we can grab it. Get it out of there. And now there's actually space to work and yeah, I don't know. That design was just awful. It was just a terrible idea. And I wish I could go back and do something else because this is going to be a pain to have to build a new one. But, you know, live and learn. But now we have space to work. We can uh, cut what we need to cut from the luggage rack. Oh, man, look at the underside of this. Oh, my gosh, those welds were so bad. That one I didn't even finish. Look at this one. Completely missed like all the way over. So yeah, definitely time to get rid of this crap. I mean, that's just awful. Yeah, I mean, the top was okay, um, but still not the greatest. So yeah, time to go with something new. That is really ugly. Next, I'm gonna drain the fuel cell so I can get uh, the fuel cell out. Um, and as you can see, yeah, we're, we're still almost a full tank. Even though this is a race car, it still gets great mileage, honestly. So I'm gonna drain the, the fuel cell into these jerry cans. Uh, makes it really easy, because I have this uh, fuel line. This used to go straight to the fuel pump. Um, I have this fuel shutoff switch. You can just open that and it'll start draining. All right, so the fuel cell is drained, um, and now we have two bolts on each side, as you can see, and it'll uh, come out the back like that. All right, there we go, the gas tank is out. And now we have access to the luggage rack. So after looking at our package tray, uh, it's just in horrible shape. I mean, it's really just falling apart. It's rusty, um, it's been cut. So I think our plan of attack is just to cut everything out, including the fender wells, so that we can just run coilovers and not worry about it. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. So first step is I'm gonna have to take all of this uh, seam sealer off. Uh, so I'm going to start by doing that. I'm gonna start cleaning up some of this wiring. Um, as you can see, there's just so much wiring over here around the battery and then going up to my rear facing lights. 
Um, and it's all routed along the cage, sort of, but there's just a lot of loose areas and this whole section of the car just looks really terrible. So I'm gonna start cleaning it up. I don't love uh, how the battery's placed either. It's kind of just sitting there. I'd, I'd like to have a battery box. Right now I just have a strap, um, but I'd like to switch it out for a battery box. So I'm gonna get started on that. guys so I got that area of wiring cleaned up way better now uh, it's all nice and wrapped up um, and then it goes all the way back there um, I put all the fuses in one spot so those are all accessible and then the uh, relays are right here too so everything's just quite a bit more usable now and I've got quite a bit of extra harness as you can see I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet I'll probably just make a loop and put it under the seats or something and then, um, so I got the battery out, uh, waiting for my pressure washer to get back from a friend who's using it right now. Uh, but once that's back, we'll pressure wash these floor pans, probably go over them with another coat of paint. Um, and obviously the battery moving around kind of rubbed off a lot of this paint down here. Um, and then there was just a lot of dirt and, and rust getting trapped underneath the battery. So we'll figure that out next. But as of now, I have this harness nice and wrapped up. And it used to go right here and then kind of just hang out. Um, but I, I don't like that. I want it to be um, somewhere else. I, I'd like it to be against this side of the car right here um, so you won't see it. Um, so hopefully I can get it to where... I, it, it seems like I have enough harness so I can put it up there. Um, I used to have it right here. It, it looked really bad. Um, so we'll, we'll try and get it right here. And then as for this luggage rack, yeah, I hit it like four times with a hammer and this hole opened up. So it's rusty beyond use. And honestly, it's just really ugly and bad. Um, so we've made the executive call to uh, cut all of it out. So we're gonna be doing that next. can see it is all cut all the tubing is visible from underneath we can work on whatever we need to work on and most importantly it'll be really easy to access the transmission from here so now as you can see I do have a pretty nasty sharp edge right there just kind of all along the outside um, so I'm going to take a heat gun and a hammer and just bend it up um, so that the sharp edge goes away. Um, that way I don't have to take away uh, any more material because that's where the spot welds are for the factory uh, body panels. And uh, I don't wanna get rid of too much body structure, so I'm gonna leave those and just bend them upwards. edges on both sides are uh, pretty cleaned up 
Um, you can tell they've kind of been bashed a little bit, but once you put a little paint over it, it'll be much, much better. And uh, the perk of doing this was just so that it's not a super sharp edge. Um, Cause I just, I hate when there's just a sharp edge, you go to, you know, work on something, you hit your hand off of it and all of a sudden you're bleeding. So I just wanted to make sure the edges weren't super sharp. So I feel pretty good about that. Um, and that's gonna do it for today. Uh, the last thing I am gonna do is give you a quick sneak peek on the engine we're gonna be running. Music. Yeah, also I'm bleeding profusely.